What's up, you guys? It's Juno! Welcome to another episode of my Pokemon Legends Arceus request series. We are doing every single request in the game and we're on to request number four. This is the big Boweasel, little Boweasel request. You're looking for a particularly large size Boweasel and this one can be pretty frustrating and hard to find. So I'm gonna give you guys a couple of tips to speed up the process for you. This took me about half an hour and there's really not much you can do to make it go any faster. But I will give you a couple of tips just in case you get lucky and a couple of tips to speed up the process for you so you're not wasting time and just catching a ton of Beweasels for no reason. All right, so the first tip is to try to find an alpha Beweasel. This is very much based on luck and you probably aren't gonna find one. I'm just gonna say up front, so I wouldn't really put too much stock in that theory. They're really, really hard to find as an alpha, but if you do find an alpha, it will guaranteed be the size that you're looking for. So I do recommend to give that a try. Now I'm just looking through my Beweasels that I've already caught here, but of course I don't have one that's already the right size. They are pretty rare so we're gonna have to head out to Obsidian Fieldlands and we're gonna go catch a bunch of these Beweasels. I had to catch about 30 or so Beweasels before I finally got the one that was the right size and I did develop a little bit of a process along the way that should speed things up for you. Alright, first off the best place to find Beweasel is going to be the Horseshoe Plains. There's a couple of other locations in Obsidian Fieldlands that do spawn these but this is pretty close to a camp and and it does spawn a decent amount of Beweasels, but I do recommend to run around and just catch every single Beweasel that you can find. But once you catch the right size one, you will see up in the top left that you caught a large specimen. All right, that's very important because once you get that notification, you can immediately go back to the professor and you can show him your large specimen and he will tell you if it's big enough if you know what you're looking for. All right, so I'm gonna show you exactly what to look for as you get through the professor's prompts. It will show you all these different screens and then one of these screens has a very particularly valuable piece of information that you are looking for. That is the size of the Pokemon. And you can see right there where the arrow is pointing, it says two foot seven inches is the largest specimen that I've caught and we are looking for two foot eight inches so I am just shy of what I was looking for now this is about 20 or 30 minutes after that clip was recorded and I've just been coming here to this same spot and catching the beweasels over and over again and I got a pretty good process to catch them I throw them a little bit of food get them distracted and then go for that back strike which oftentimes does lead to a side strike side strike has no value ah oh, sad face but you know what sometimes you can get that back strike and it makes them just a little bit easier to catch so that's handy now you can see here I did not catch any large specimens it didn't show it at the top left but I already caught some specimens before this and we're gonna go and check them out with the professor and the professor will tell me exactly what I need to know once I show him all the Pokemon that I caught which I'll add does include a shiny Bidoof I was out there hunting for quite a long time and shiny Bidoof decided to show up so that was a pretty nice surprise for me and I've been using that Bidoof on my no commentary playthrough which is what we're looking at at here. This was my no commentary playthrough. I'm just doing commentary for the requests because some of these requests are pretty difficult and you do need a couple of tips to get through them a little bit faster. Now look here, the professor tells me everything I need to know as promised. Two foot eight inches. That is the size we are looking for. So now I don't even have to leave the obsidian field lens and I know for a fact that I've got exactly what I'm looking for. It's the big Beweasel at two foot and eight inches. And I will say that during the whole half hour of doing all these spawns for Beweasel, I never saw a single alpha beweasel they are quite rare and i wouldn't rely on getting that alpha beweasel i just wouldn't try it you guys it's probably going to take you forever and you might not ever even see one all right now there's one more tip before we're done here it can be quite hard to get through all the beweasels that you have and you may be wondering which is the one that has the two foot eight inches well you just select the summary and then scroll through until you see the one that says two foot eight inches and then when you hit b you'll already be selecting that one it's kind of handy it doesn't seem that intuitive but once you know that it works that way it actually is very intuitive so just scroll through the summary until you see the one that says it's two foot eight inches and when you hit b you'll already have that one selected and you can just select it and give it to dorian all right, so this was a really easy request, aside from all the time that it takes. They do make the early requests in the game pretty easy, but some of them can be quite time consuming and it's gonna get worse from here. So make sure you guys have a little bit of time when you go to complete some of these requests. This one did take a little bit longer for me. It might not take that long for you though. Anyway, we are completed on this and we got our prizes and that's gonna be the end for this video. Thanks everybody for watching. Thank you to all my amazing subscribers and peace.